Well, welcome back there, chum. So as you know, I've completed the last campfire, but I haven't got the platinum trophy, and I don't think I'm too far away from getting said trophy. Now, what I've noticed is you don't actually need to get all the Wanderer's journals to get the actual trophy. You just need to get all the embers. And I've already done the first area and the second. The last area is just one more ember to get there. But anyway, I figured I'd show you a couple of the additional boxes that I found on my journey back to get in that last ember. I think I've got something like 39 or 42 of these little parchments now. So there's still a couple that I haven't got, just a few. Um, but you don't need them. You don't need them to they get the Platinum Trophy. So yeah, it's uh, up to you whether you want to collect them all. If you're a complete completionist, then yeah, grab them. Happened. But here you go, this is how I got this one. Now this is just after I've come back down the lift and I'm, I'm on my way over to the final area again. So here we go. And head back up there. It's just by that little waterfall. Yep, so lovely. I, did, I just didn't notice that there was a staircase at the end of that ledge and when I first came here the first time around. So there you go, there's the lift that takes you up to, I believe, the right hand side of where the, the Forest King is, you know? Awesome. And then this is the one where I couldn't work out how to move this blinking raft. And somebody on my comments actually sent me a message and told me how to do this. So you use the little raft to move the big raft, which is just yeah, didn't occur to me at all. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let me see if I can find who it was that sent me that message. Okay, so that person was a Scott Ross. So thank you very much, Scott Ross, for putting a comment on my YouTube video and uh, telling me that, uh, yeah, I just had to move the actual dock. So there you go, I don't know whether you can see that, but Scott Ross, thank you very much there for uh, your help. Awesome, thank you. I feel cool. So yeah, I would have done that without Scott Ross because I, uh, I thought that was actually a bug. I thought that was broken. <laughs> yeah, because normally you can stand on things and then use your lanthorn to move the thing you're standing on. But for whatever reason, it just wouldn't work there. And I just didn't see that little lump of driftwood that wasn't actually connected to anything. Uh, yeah, just didn't, just didn't occur to me. So yeah, thank you very much for that. Sometimes it's right in front of you, isn't it? I must have moved my raft around that without touching it. If I would have nudged it, I would have known it moved. But no, okay, brilliant, awesome, well, thank you very much for that one, Scott Ross. Awesome. So, next area, this is where you raise the landmass. And that little statue where I didn't know where to put it, you put it in a freaking window. That's the first one you put in a window. Normally you've got a pedestal to put them on, but no, that one, in the window. Again, it it's kind of obvious, but kind of not. You know what I mean? You just I just didn't realise, because you don't do that in any other puzzle. And it opens up this puzzle room called Into the Dark. And you have to direct the light by moving the snakes around with the mirrors on their backs to reflect the light almost like um, horizontally from where it is there, straight across and into the other snake's mouth. Now this, it looks easier than it actually is. This puzzle did take me a little while. And I have sort of done a little mini cut here to show you, in, well, it took me about 15 minutes to actually work this one out. So yeah, but I'm not going to give you the whole 15 minutes of pain. It's just the last like couple of minutes of pain on this one. So yeah, just moving these around to try and reflect the light. I mean, I, I managed to get it so it's lit up all the different dishes there. And I'm like, okay, so why is it not hitting the end one? And it's kind of because it's going into the back of the mirror, where it has to sort of hit it um, towards the front a bit more. In fact, I think it negates this one. I don't think you actually have to use that end one. Let me just... Uh, Watch this back. I can't remember whether I did or didn't. I kind of did this half by accident, to be fair, chums. So here we go. Let's uh, try this around there. And down there. Uh, yeah, so it's not as easy, like I say, as it looks to actually complete this one. But yeah, it's, it was fun. And it was an, an additional sort of uh, one for me to do. So here we go. Let's uh, pull that over there. And there we go. Some Done. That's how it was. So the longer one goes at the bottom, the shorter one towards the, um, the middle area. And that's pretty much it. Bingo. I kind of did that sheer fluke. Yeah, complete fluke. So you may have to pause the screen there to actually see how I did that. Because <laughs> I was like, did I just do it? I did. Awesome. So yeah, there we go. And that's the final ember. That's the final ember. That's my platinum trophy gained. Um, however, once you've got the ember, you have to go back to the campfire 
and register the fact that you've got them all with the campfire before it registered on the PlayStation Network that I've got all 100% trophies. And not only that, I had to go on to the last, last campfire, you know, the one before with the little tears, red dude, the and register there as well. And I actually got me, some friend. new dialogue. So I've Thank actually you. added that into this video. But let's just get this bit done, and then we'll press on with that in a sec. So yeah, that's my final ember achieved. You know what? That deserves a little victory harmonica. <laughs> Ha ha! Brilliant! Awesome. There we go. So, I had no idea it just went in that freaking window. It was pretty cool how it lights up like that, isn't it? But yeah, there was no sort of subtle hint or anything. It wasn't until I was standing in front of it with the talisman in my hand that I saw a little white light appear in there and I was like, oh, it goes there. Done. Freaking mental. I was looking, you know where um, the snake moves away from the pedestals? But it left a little said, tablet at the end. I was trying to get it all the way to the back corner over there where the little, um, the little dude was sitting earlier. Crazy. But there you go. It says that there, my journey is complete. Continue on ahead. Which is what all the other campfires now say because I've managed to get 100% of the embers on there. And yeah, I went back all the way over here to get back to that last area and I noticed that there was a little box down here. And the way to get that is you have to move those Hidden two little cubes to get over to the uh, left hand side. Easy peasy. But I completely missed that one dreams. on my first playthrough. You saw me look all the way around there. <laughs> I just missed it. But yeah, I spotted it this time. Eagle Eye Steve. And then yes, you go to this last campfire here. And when you go there, this is where it registered that I, I think I'd done my platinum. And, but yeah, this, this is it. Is you get a little bit campfire. of new dialogue here. Your so if you are, if you say that you want to what stay and help, they're like, no, you've actually you've done all you can. Anyway, I'll leave it. I'll let you watch. There you go. This is the end of... You have helped all who can be helped. It is time to complete your own journey. A boat lies waiting, but it belongs to another. So that, to me, Their was all kind was of new so sort of dialogue there, which is really quite Seek cool. Them out and then, yeah, you go you through, on. you speak to the last Embery dude, you know, the little wanderer guy, the one in red. And the dialogue out there is exactly the same, though. Um, so I went through again to see if there was any difference. And I went through the whole ending scene to see if there was more of the little Ember dudes. But no, it was pretty much like for like for when I first completed it. But now it's registered that I've got 100% trophies, including a platinum. Heck yes, freaking awesome. So that's the last campfire, 100%ed, diddly done. Now there was an actual other game mode, wasn't there? So I thought, well, I'll fire that up and we'll see if it's any harder or anything like that. But there's no trophies for the other game mode, so I was like, that's a bit weird. So there you go, I've gone to a new save. You saw there I've got eight hours in total so far before I got my platinum. Eight hours, I think that's okay. And also I've been doing, you know, the recording stuff and things. So I've hit new game. And when you go to explore mode, and you go to do it, it just says, we're going to remove some of the puzzles. So it's actually not harder, it's actually an easier mode. So yeah, not going to do that. Anyway, that's pretty much that, so take care. Goodbye for now. And I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching my video, and also another thank you to all of my Patreon backers. And yes, if you want to back me over on Patreon, see the video description for links on how to do so. Check out all the tiers, there's something there for pretty much everyone. I also have YouTube membership. Thank you to all my YouTube members, thanking you very much indeedy duty. heck yes. There's all different tiers over on the YouTube membership as well, so if you're thinking of supporting me, please check out both before making the decision. And I also have merch, nice and fine and dandy merch, including socks and a t-shirt or a vest or a mug, heck yes. And I also have 3D printed Atlas passes, again, see the video description and my own website. <laughs> Yeah, another way to support my channel is just don't skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue or just hit one of these buttons on this screen. Heck yes.